Hi there. In this video, we'll look at the preparation of a 10 column worksheet. We are going to see what an accounting worksheet is in accounting. Now, a 10 column worksheet in accounting, this is a document that is used to summarize and analyze financial information. It helps in preparing financial statements and adjusting entries. Now, in this video, we are going to see how we can prepare the 10 column worksheet, the different steps that are followed in the preparation of the 10 column worksheet. In step one, we list the accounts and enter their balances from the general ledger into the appropriate trial balance columns. That is debit as well as, as, well as the credit. Remember, we have to total both columns, and these totals should be equal. The debits should be equal to the credits. Don't forget the double entry rule, that for every debit, there should be a corresponding credit. And at the end of the period, total debits should always equal to the total credit. So we start with our trial balance, which is extracted using the balances from the different ledgers. We present those balances in the trial balance columns of debit and, and credit. Then step two is to enter in the amounts for the adjustments. Each adjustment should contain at least one debit entry and at least one credit entry. Just as if you were entering these adjustments in the journal. Remember a journal, shows the account to be debited and then the account to be credited. So in step two, we are dealing with the adjustments. Still, we have to total both the columns of debit and credit. In step three, we carry the balances from the trial balance columns to the adjusted trial balance. But remember, we have columns of adjustments after the trial balance. So we have to adjust the balances in the original trial balance for us to come up with the adjusted trial balance. So if the balances have no adjustment, then we just transfer those balances to the columns of the adjusted trial balance. However, if an account has an adjustment, then either we have to add or subtract the adjustment to get the adjusted balance for the account. Of course, we have to total both columns. Now, there is something which you need to know when it comes to the add or subtract. If the trial balance amount and the adjusted amount are both in the same columns, for example, debit in the trial balance and debit in the adjustment columns, or credit and credit, then you just add the amount together and you transfer the total to the respective column of the adjusted trial balance. Then if the trial balance amount and the adjustment amounts are in different columns, for example, debit and credit, or credit and debit, then we we'll subtract the amounts and enter the result in the column that has the larger amount. That is step three. Then step four, we carry the balances. Carry the balances for all your revenue expenses. For all your revenue and expense accounts to the income statement columns. Total both columns. But one thing you need to know about the income statement columns is that these columns won't balance like the other columns of uh, the trial balance, the adjustments, and the adjusted trial balance. The columns of the income statement won't balance because the difference between the columns represents your net income or loss. That is something which you need to remember when you're preparing the 10 column worksheet. These columns won't, won't balance. And the balancing figure in your income statement columns, that is either your net profit or your net loss. In step five, we carry the balances for all the other accounts, that is assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. We carry them to the balance sheet columns. We have to total both the columns, but still the balance sheet columns won't 
what are the, the balance will not be the same. Why? Because there is a difference that has to come from the income statement columns. When we insert that difference, which is either the profit or loss on the smaller side of the balance sheet columns, then that balance sheet will balance. The debit column will equal to the credit will equal to the credit columns. If they are not the same, then you have made a mistake somewhere. Then you have made a mistake somewhere. So step six, let us look at step six briefly. Step six, enter in the difference between the debit and credit columns under the columns which has the smaller balance for both the income statement and the balance sheet. So these four columns again. Here we are looking at the income statement columns and the balance sheet columns. The difference in the income statement columns has to be inserted and it will represent a profit or loss, which will still be transferred to the balance sheet columns. That is the column which has the small balance. When we start those balancing figures, then the debit and the credit column totals should balance now and both the income statement and the balance sheet. I'll look at a worked out example. I'll show you how to prepare the 10 column worksheet in the next presentation. Don't, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, Senior Huntington by Names. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.